good morning or in Ilocano na imbaga bigat tayo ami. So first and foremost, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Leanne and I will be your tour guide for today. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to approach me, okay? Alright. So while we are heading to our destination, which is the Boracay of Ilocos Sur, Sabangan, let me tell you some friendly reminders, rules and regulations in the new normal. Now, remember the word SAFE. S-A-F-E. S, synchronize your time with me so that no one will left behind. The time with me is 7.30 a.m. Next is letter A. Always wear your face mask and face shields all throughout the tour to ensure your safety against the virus. Letter F. Frequently check your belongings and never leave them unattended. And letter E. Ensure that you have with you your water bottles for we will be passing by several water refilling stations to keep you hydrated all throughout the tour. Is that clear? Great! My dear tourists, please bear in mind that when traveling, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, keep nothing but memories, and kill nothing but time. So sit back and relax while we are welcoming you to the Boracay of Ilocosur, Sabangan! And now, as I am welcoming you to your first destination, let me give you some brief information. In this small town of Santiago y Sur, lies a small patch of paradise-like cove called the Sabangan Cove, or more known as the Santiago Cove. It is dubbed as the Boracay of Sur because of its white sands. It is known for its powdery white coast, calm and shallow waters laid against green mountains. Santiago Cove is a perfect spot for picnics as well as for swimming. Cottages located alongside can be rented at reasonable price and small establishments for eating are also found nearby. It also offers a wide range of water activities such as jet skiing, waterboarding, and kayaking. For a fun group activity, you can ride a banana boat with family members or friends. Santiago Cove also has an interesting artificial coral reef sanctuary where you can dive or snorkel. If you are an adrenaline junkie, you might also enjoy the 650 meter zip line over the pristine blue waters of Santiago Cove. And now, I will be giving you enough time to explore the place. And now, we are here to our next and last destination, which is the Santorini of the North, Vitalis Villas! Santorini, Greece may be a dream destination for many Filipinas, but trips to Europe can cost a fortune. Good news for Filipino travelers, though Vitalis Villas here in Santiago de Lacazur offers a budget-friendly alternative without falling short of the real team. In the Villas, First class amenities makes every member of a family occupied. First and foremost are the dishes that give guests 
a taste of both worlds. The resort also has a zip line mounted on opposite mountains, providing guests a one-of-a-kind adventure and breathtaking more than a minute view of the cove, while suspended in the air and over the waters. Adults and child guests can enjoy the mini zoo with its ponies, donkeys, and trained zebras. One hop camel and a donkey with an attending veterinarian to look after their health and safety. Guests can also enjoy water sports in jet skis, pedal boats, banana boats, and kayaks, as well as beach volleyball, wakeboarding, and aqua play, an inflatable water park. They can go snorkeling too and see underwater reaches of the cove, experience and encounter fishes, starfish, and sea urchins. Vitalis Villas also has an entertainment room and a viewing deck. Vitalis Villas is not only a destination, but a lifestyle one could easily get used to. You wouldn't want to miss getting a photo, so I will be giving you now enough time to explore, room around, and enjoy the place. and memorable journey and learn a lot in this trip. And remember to pick a place wisely because one's destination is never a place but a new way of seeing things. <music> 